And my name is Mia. I'll be giving you your injection. Gerdalyn Linton is about to turn 84. She told us she was nervous and doesn't like shots, but she was determined to get the COVID-19 vaccine after nearly a year of pandemic life. Oh, it was so frustrating and give everybody a hard time, but the Lord is good. He's with us, you know, and uh, I'm happy I'm getting it today and I hope it works. All right, are you ready? Yes. Morehouse School of Medicine in Atlanta, 125 people received the vaccine on Saturday. It's all done. In the neighboring city of Doraville, DeKalb County administered the same Moderna vaccine shots to 85 people after receiving almost 6,000 requests. It's pandemonium. It's almost like a contest when you open up and everyone's rushing in to sign up at the same time. Throughout Georgia, people older than 75 and people working in health care, like Belinda Williams, have already been getting vaccinated. I am happy that if nothing else, I can, I can do my part to help them um, and, and help our, our country get back to where we're supposed to be. On Monday, first responders, people 65 and older, and their caregivers become eligible too. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp says about a quarter of available vaccine has been administered so far. I'm pleased with how hard everybody's working, but I'm not happy with where we are. We got to keep moving the needle. The demand in metro areas is much higher than supply at the moment. Even so, DeKalb's district health director said she's concerned about people hesitant to get the vaccine. It's, it's, it's African Americans, it's seniors, it's, you know, um, non English speakers. It just depends. A lot of people have, even some healthcare workers have anxiety about this. So it's not, not any one specific demographic, but, you know, the African American population, certainly in DeKalb, is at the highest risk of having a negative outcome just based on our numbers. The president of the Morehouse Medical School, one of the nation's top historically black schools, says messaging within communities of color is key. So we have done a lot of work in this area. So Morehouse School of Medicine is a trusted entity, and we decided to use our voice. How was it? It was easy. It was easy. Another challenge is having enough people to administer the shots when vaccinations ramp up. We're going to go to retired nurses retired medical assistants, retired other healthcare personnel, and ask them to come and partner with us uh, through uh, volunteering. And they're gonna let you know when you need to come back for your next injection, okay? In 28 days, everyone who got their Moderna vaccine at these two locations will come back for their second and final dose, a light at the end of the tunnel. I feel strongly that this is the beginning of the end of this. And I'm here because I want to see this end quickly. We have been extremely responsible since March. And um, I'm very, very positive that this is the first step. Natasha Chen, CNN, Atlanta.